Create dictionary definition style word art for your digital projects using two fonts and a keypad shortcut. We will be using a serif style font and a script font. Times New Roman, Georgia, and Adobe Garamond Pro are a few examples of serif fonts. I'm beginning here in expert mode in Photoshop Elements, but the directions are exactly the same in Adobe Photoshop except where noted. Begin by creating a new 8 by 4 inch document with a resolution of 300 pixels per inch and a transparent background and click OK. Press Ctrl 0, that's Command 0 on a Mac, to fit the image to your screen. And press the letter D to reset the color chips to the default of black over white. The first thing we need to create is a dictionary word for our word art, including the interpunks for the syllables. Get the horizontal type tool and in the tool options, click on the font picker and choose a serif style font. I'm using Alice, which can be found for free at the Font Squirrel website. Change the size to 55, the leading to auto, and the tracking to zero. The color chip should be black. Click on the center alignment icon. Photoshop users, please check the manual for settings. On the document, click once slightly above the center of the document to place your cursor. Type in a word or a phrase. I'm going to use the word beautiful. Click the check mark to commit the type. To add the interpunct, Windows users with a numeric keypad will click to place the cursor between the U and the T. Hold down the Alt key and press 7 on the numeric keypad. If you do not have a numeric keypad or are using a Mac, please see the manual for additional directions. To add the interpunct between the I and the F, click to place the cursor between the I and F, hold down the Alt key and press 7 on the numeric keypad. Press the check mark to commit the type. Next, we're going to create the definition portion of the word art. In the Layers panel, click on the Create a New Layer icon. By creating a new layer, we are able to change the Type Tool settings without affecting any previous text layers. Get the Horizontal Type Tool. In the Tool Options, make sure the serif font you used earlier is still active. Change the size to 16. The lighting should be Auto. Tracking should be 0. The color chip should be black and the center alignment icon should still be selected. Photoshop users, please see the manual for settings. On the document, click once below the center of the word beautiful to place the cursor. Type the definition of the word you are using. I'm going to type pleasing the senses or mind aesthetically on the first line and on the second line of a very high standard. Excellent. To reposition the text, hold down the control key, that's the command key on a Mac, and click and drag inside the bounding box. Click the check mark to commit the type. Now let's create the script text layer. In the layers panel, click on the create a new layer icon, get the horizontal type tool, then, on the document, while holding down the Shift key, click once in the center of the document to place the cursor. In the Tool Options, open the Font Picker and choose a script style font. I'm using the font Great Vibes, which you can find for free at the Font Squirrel website. Set the size to 150, the lighting to Auto, the tracking to Zero. The color chip should be black. Click on the center alignment icon. Photoshop users, please see the manual for settings. Type the word or phrase you used earlier. I'm using the word beautiful. Click the check mark to commit the type. Now get the move tool. In the layers panel, click and drag the newly created layer to the bottom of the layers panel. With the script type layer you just moved still active, lower the opacity to about 30%.
Finally, we need to make sure our text layers are centered. In the Layers panel, the bottom layer should still be active. Holding down the Shift key, click on the top layer. Now all the layers should be active. In the Tool Options, click on the Align Horizontal Centers Middle icon. To use your newly created word art on a future digital project, we need to save the document. To preserve the layers for later use, save the document as a PSD file with a unique name. I recommend saving as a PSD file so you can make adjustments to the text. To create a flattened image, save the document as a PNG file with unique name. A PNG file will preserve the transparency of the background of your word art when adding it to your project. Here is a layout I created using the beautiful word art. I love the simplicity of the page with the newly created word art. Have fun creating word art using made up words or words with special family meaning. Play with different fonts and text colors for variety. Here's a layout I created using the words Moosey Star. It's what my grandfather called anyone who was dressed up or looked fancy. For a free PDF version of this video, click on the download link and make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. This has been Carla Shute from Digital Scrapper, the very best place on the web to find complete and professional instruction for digital scrapbooking. We help you get your stories told.